Hi everyone, it's Anne. Welcome to my channel, Annie's Abstract Art, where I do just that. I love working with neutral palettes and earthy tones, and I love the way a rock looks when you crack it open and you see all of the patterns and the minerals, and that's what inspired this piece. I love the way it turned out. I can't wait to show you how I did it. The video will start now. Enjoy. So when you think of earth and all of the different minerals or even how copper when it turns and you get that patina that's what I'm going for here so as a first layer I am laying down turquoise and well that's cut with water and then the yellow oxide is or yellow okra is cut with a little bit of alcohol and when they blend on the canvas, which is an eight by six canvas board, you get a little bit of green. And so I'm just working it. I did a few coats. I let it dry. I dry everything off camera, but I'm blending where they intersect, getting that overlap. And I have two shades of turquoise. So one is a brighter turquoise with more white in it and the other one is has like a little bit more green in it and it's diluted so that's the brighter one and I'm using both sponges and soft brushes and this is the final coat of the yellow okra and now I'm mixing alcohol glycerin and alcohol ink acrylic ink that I made already in brown and there's a lot of glycerin there because I want to glaze and it makes a really great glaze it does get a little sticky but after a while after drying it 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 eventually loses its stickiness so here I'm glazing and I'm just manipulating the paint getting a feel for what I can do, wiggling the brush to get kind of like edges and just getting into that mood. So here I'm adding a little bit more of the brighter turquoise because it needed a little bit of a boost in color. And then I toned it down a little bit with the warmer turquoise and now I'm putting it into a drawer, and this is shimmer spray. So there's a few spritz here and there. And then I got closer, so it's more concentrated, and let it drip. And then used more of the shimmer spray very close up to make it drip even more. Added more shimmer spray. And now I am pouring the al acrylic alcohol ink that I make. And it's a little bit thicker, this batch, because I wanted it to be syrupy. And I'm spraying it with the shimmer spray while it's still very wet. And I don't, I don't touch it. And here I'm using a damp rag to reduce those drips and to tone down that bright orange. And now I am adding joint compound. Um, this is the lightweight because I want to get that texture like the earth, almost like the side of a cave. And I add some, then I remove some, and I just keep playing with it. I want to get those um, skips and natural layers as I swipe and almost like as if I was icing a cake. So right here, and then I dry it really, really well off camera. So I could do this glazing over the joint compound because if it was still soft and it would have turned the brown beige and it would have all mixed. So now I am still glazing and then spritzing with water to keep the paint a little wet so I can manipulate it. 
And what I'm doing here is dabbing the brown because it's still wet and not rubbing. And what it's doing is it's removing the top layer and that turquoise is peeking through and it makes it look like patina. And I'm just kissing the canvas with the paper towel. And now I'm adding a little bit more of the yellow okra and this is gold acrylic and I time-lapsed this for speed so you can see how tedious it is if you want to try this yourself. Um, the brush strokes are very very small you're just detailing here and there and everywhere the way it would look in nature versus you know how we would normally paint with a larger brush and doing big brush strokes this is just little little areas here and there nooks and crannies highlighting where the joint compound um, has kind of um, the crevices I sometimes get lost for words so now I spritzed again and now I am using Arteza um, real brush pen. It's like a, it's like a brush with, or it's like a brush and a marker at the same time. And just like I did with the gold acrylic, I am detailing and really paying attention to that spot right there on the lower right where the drawing compound made like a crevice. I really want to highlight that right here. I'm just going around just like I did with the, the gold. And this is the final, final step, final phase. Anywhere the joint compound is kind of crusty and it is done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I really enjoyed doing this piece. If you have any questions about my process or materials, which I've detailed below, leave a comment. I would love to hear from you. And if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you will because I upload regularly. Until the next video, take care. I'll see you soon.